Let's have a look at how you can align child content within a parent container. We've got a parent container. We've got two child containers. Both are yellow so you can easily see. And I want them to equally fill up the space. But I might also want the top one to be, say, roughly 30% and the bottom one to be roughly 70. Now, if you know what the height of your container is, say it's 500 pixel, you start adjusting manually. You go to your child container and you start messing around with the height. Sometimes this can be more trial and error, and there's a really simple, easy way to do this. Now, I'm going to go to my parent container, and the first thing I'm going to do is zero out all of the padding inside. I'm also going to go over to the layout, and I'm going to zero out the gaps in terms of columns and rows. So there are my two containers. In fact, let's just change the color so it's easier to see, okay? The child container one, child container two. Again, like I said, you can manually do it. You know, if you know that's 500, you might go, well, we're going to set it to 250 and 250. But there is a much simpler way to do it. If I click on child container number one and you go to the advanced tab, over here you have an option called grow. You click it. I'm then going to go over to my second child container. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. You just go and click grow. That has now filled up that parent container equally to what I need it to be. And if I was to now go to child container two, by the way, you can do this on child container one or child container two, and I now start to adjust the height, child container one shrinks down. And if I had done it with the other way around, then the child container two would shrink down. Now there does come a point though, that if you go over, like you go, wow, we're gonna make it really big. You're now going beyond the realms or the parameters you've set for your parent container. So if your parent container, including any padding and anything, was set to be 500 pixel and you start to go really big, you are going to grow it beyond what it originally was meant to look like, which so bear that in mind, it's going to get bigger. But if you stay within the realms of that, look at this. I mean, I could even make this smaller. So if I go over to parent uh, child container number two, look, I can do that as well. So you can now start to control how big your containers are without you totally messing around with just the height. This allows so much more flexibility, especially if you wanted both child containers just to be 50%. Look, let me just get rid of those values. That's exactly what we have over here right now. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. Maybe start to use the grow function a little bit more when you're messing around with containers. I'll see you soon.